Hello, it's Atul and in last video, few videos, I have talked about some basic commands of call Linux and some basic things about Linux. And uh, I have shown you how you can install call Linux in your VMware workstation. So this video is for people who don't have any PC and want to use call Linux. So in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can easily install call Linux in your Android without root. So first of all, the one of the basic requirement is that you should have at least uh, 10 GB empty space in your phone. Secondly, you should have a Android phone. That is one of the common thing. So let's begin. First of all, let's uh, go to this website. I will I will give this link in the description. So click enter. It's calling uh, at Nintendo Docs. So let's go down and here they have given data, uh, digital instructions that how you can install Kali Linux in your Android without any root. So first of all, let's go to store.nintendo.com and uh, we have to install this. Um, it's store, so it's store look like this. Let me turn. And it's Nintendo Store. So you have to just uh, download the app store and uh, you have to install it in your Android and after installing uh, you have to install Termax so search here Termax and Termax in uh, emulator with packages and click install and click install and it will install in your Android phone Okay, after installing it, let's open Termex. And it's gonna take some time, so let's move to our tutorial. And here it has shown um, how you can install Kali Linux in your Android. And uh, they have given each and every command, so let's copy and paste these commands. First command uh, is used to give permission. Uh, now it's asking the permission to access the storage and we have to allow it so you can install it Kali Linux in your storage. So second command is we have to install WV. And just copy this command. We can install WV and paste it and hit enter. And it will install within a minute or so. And click Y. And after that, uh, when it's successfully installed, let's go to our next instruction. And we have installed install the installer. Let's copy this command. And copy this command. Paste it and hit enter. It's going to install the installer. So as we click ls, and it's going to show the installer. And to uh, give the permission to the installer, we have to change its permission. Give its permission. Give it permission to install. And hit enter. Now it is going to install. Install. And just hit that it's going to auto complete itself and now it's uh, checking our device architecture and checking pack, uh, package dependencies dependencies so it's going to take i think uh Kali Linux is around 1.3 gb for android and it's going to take around at least if you have a very fast internet and it's going to take around 5 to 10 minutes and if you have slow internet it's going to take a lot of time so let's wait until uh, until now it's just uh, checking our device architecture and all. Now you can see that uh, Kali Linux has started downloading and it's showing around seventeen minutes. 
and and it's going to take around that much of time so until that time i want to pause the video as it is going to download it i will show the show you the further steps so let's wait until then as you can see that uh, kali linux has been fully downloaded and it it has been it has taken around 24 minutes so uh, after that it uh, it is going to verify the files that you have downloaded and after that it is going to extract those files so the process of extracting those files is quite a long it sometimes take around 25 to 50 minutes uh, depending on upon the speed and the storage in your phone i think and the main uh, thing which you should keep keep in the mind that you should never close uh, never exit uh, while it is extracting the root file system so you have to wait for 20 minutes and leave your phone aside or you can minimize it and it would be extracted within that time so let's wait until then it has been more than 20 minutes and it's not yet extracted uh, sometimes we do that or uh, sometimes generally people do that and uh, they enter control plus c and after that if if you do so uh, you you would see that everything is okay but when you try to boot up car linux it would would not be able to boot up so you should wait until uh, it gets fully uh, extracted so let's wait first time until it gets, uh, gets extracted so uh, you can see that the file system has been totally extracted and now it is asking whether you and you want to delete that downloaded file or not it depends upon you and i am going to delete this file just click on yes and hit enter and your kali linux is successfully installed so now if you want to use kali linux just as a terminal you can use it by typing that window and hit enter and you would get your root and uh, you have to do one more thing first of all you have to set your password to set your password you have to type a command create this command net window kex password and you have to just come here and paste it and hit enter sorry first of all you have to exit from here and now paste that command and hit enter and it is going to ask you set a password just set one two three four five six and sorry one two three four five and six hit enter one two three four five six hit enter and hit try enter just hit enter one two three four five and six and password and verify it again and your password will be successfully set this password will be used uh, to use kali linux in ui mode so if you want to use kali linux that's okay just go to net enter and click enter you can use it as root so now i'm going to show you that how you can use the ui version of kali linux in your android for that just go to net hunter store and here search net hunter and it's not under tax and you have to install it from here it's simple. just click and install it's simple to install now we'll click open here and it is asking about some details for the details you have to go here back to linux and exit from here and now you have to type the command net under tax and n percent and hit enter so as you would as you will hit enter it's going to give you port number and process id so it's port number is 5901 now let's come here and it's a default port number 5901 and you have to enter your password that you have set there it's one two three it's one two three four five and six and just keep and all you have to do is hit connect as you will hit connect uh, you can see that the full flash version of kali linux and you can use terminal here 
Let me just click on time. And you can type each and every command whatever you want, and you can easily use curl Linux. So now at last I'm going to explain you that explain it in a simple way. So to install curl Linux in your system, first of all uh, you have to go to this site. I will give that site in the description. And to install, uh, you have to type these commands. All the commands will be given in this description. The main thing you have to keep in mind is that you have to wait until the whole downloaded file has been uh, extracted to your system. It can take between uh, 25 to 50 minutes. So you have to wait until then. And after that, I have explained everything. I hope you like this video. If you like, hit that like button. If you don't, you can hit that dislike button. For future videos like this, you can subscribe to my channel. And if you have any suggestion, uh, and if you have any suggestions, you can give them in, your, in the comment section. Thank you.